What's happening, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching YouTube. Thanks for watching Verbally Vicious Nation. Um, let's do it quickly. My arms are a little shaky because I've been out using the Weed Whacker, which Meatwad and Snozberry are not fans of. Uh, everybody else is going to do a video about it. Um, I'm doing one too. Uh, Perez Hilton and Will I Am. The situation, don't know. Couldn't really care less. But I did watch the Paris Hilton. Paris. Well, he'd probably like to be Paris. I did watch the Perez Hilton video, and uh, here's where I come down on that. Perez Hilton, you're a freaking imbecile, that's for sure. I don't know if Will I Am is an imbecile as well. I haven't really heard that half of it, but taking the small context delivered by you, not by him, but from me watching you, uh, how dare you have the audacity for one second to say that words are somehow less harmful than a swift punch in the eye. Words historically have defined and destroyed nations. Hate coming from people's mouths, which I'm sure you've had to associate with before. I'm sure that due to your sexual preference and your lifestyle, which I 100% could really truly care less about, not only could care less about, approve of, but I'm sure not everyone always has. I'm sure horrible hurtful things have been said to you that you would have rather someone punched you in the mouth and you said you called Will I Am in front of all his friends and everybody else a bitch and a faggot. You said you said that. This is not hearsay. This is from your mouth. Don't know whether Will I Am is right and I want people to leave a comment today. Do you think what Will I Am's manager did uh, was any worse than what Perez Hilton was doing because I'll tell you this, if I would have been in public with Kevin Kraft and Josh Denny and, and the rest of Verbally Vicious and hanging out with Short Bus and all the other guys and Shat was there and we were partying and you walked up to me or in, in a conversation, you called me a bitch and a faggot publicly in front of my face, it wouldn't have been one punch. I'd have knocked you on your fucking ass and I wouldn't have quit until you cried harder. But that's just me. And that's just a hypothetical. What's your opinion about the situation, guys? I'm not saying I'm right. I'm simply saying sometimes a punch in the mouth is all someone understands. Leave a comment. Rate this. Subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Um, but I want to know your opinion. If you came here and you watched the video, rate it and then leave me a comment. Let me know who you think was in the right on this without being too much of a gangster or a diva. Just give your opinion. Remember, I get over myself every day. I hope you're doing the same thing.